What's up you guys, it's Key Amber Vaughn, AKA Coach Key, coming back to you with another video. If you are new to my channel, welcome. And if you are not new, welcome back. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and also tap the bell so that you are notified of every new video I post. I usually post videos one or two times a week. You can always catch me here every single Friday for Financial Freedom Friday, where we talk about everything regarding money and finance. Sorry, so, so sorry that I missed last week. The holidays just had me all caught up. I've literally been with my family basically every day from Friday or Thursday all the way up until yesterday. No, Tuesday. So it's been crazy, but I am back. So as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be going through my January 2018 budget. And as you guys can see, this is a different setup that I've been using for the last couple of months. Um, as some of you guys know, I created my own planner that goes with my financial wellness program, which I actually just launched last night. And I will leave the details for that down in the description box. Uh, but as far as the planner goes, we're still in the printing process. Actually, I think the printing process is supposed to start this weekend. So I have not received my full planner yet. You guys know that I've been doing my budget with me's in the sample planner. So I had to go back to my old planner that I used when I first started doing these. And I can tell you already, it's been super weird. I'm so used to certain pages being there. But it's whatever, I need to get the video out. So I will not be using stickers in this budget with me. I usually do use stickers, but I don't wanna waste them because I know as soon as I get my planner in the mail in a couple of weeks, uh, all of my stickers are gonna be used in there. Um, the only reason I have payday stickers in here is because when I got really excited about starting this process with this planner, I basically put payday stickers in for like four or five months, yeah. So without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and start writing out my bills. So for me, um, I'll go ahead and put January rent here. And as you guys know, my rent is always already pretty much saved and paid up like weeks before my rent is due. But I still go ahead and put the January rent there and my rent is $810.70. And I have done a pretty good job with making sure that I don't have any bills due at the beginning of the month. And I did that a long time ago because since rent is such a huge expense, I don't want any other bills to be due like until pretty much the end of the month. So my first bill start off here. So on the 14th, we have MailChimp for 10 bucks. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put a box so I can check off when it's paid. Most of these things are on auto pay anyway. On the 15th, we have Charter or Spectrum, and that is my internet, and that's $44.99. I do not have cable, and I will never have cable. On the 19th, we have Progressive, which is my car insurance, and actually, I believe my car insurance rate has gone down and I'm just going in and checking my phone because I remember seeing it a couple of days ago. Yes, so, oh man, it's not in here. It's not in here, but it's 107 something, but for now, I'll just go ahead. I'm not gonna write anything in there. I'll go ahead later on and write in the actual amount. Also on the 19th, we have the chiropractor and that is $70 then we have HostGator for my website hosting and you guys if you are just now uh, finding me on YouTube you guys will see I do not have a lot of bills whatsoever I've been that way for quite some time. On the 22nd, we have Spire, but I'm not sure what my bill will be. I don't really know my gas bill until like somewhere up in here. So I'm just not gonna write anything in there. Uh, also on the 22nd, we have my affiliate membership and that is $50 a month. On the 23rd, I have my FSM, which is my financial success membership. That is $34.95 a month. 
on the 27th we have roadside and my roadside is $7.99 a month then on the 28th we have Amarin which is my electricity I don't know what that is going to be so I'll go ahead and just put a line to remind myself to put that bill in there once I do know the amount and then on the 30th we have BMO Harris which is my car loan and that is $262.53. I've actually been paying my car loan a little bit earlier so that I can put my extra debt payments in before the end of the month so it can accurately reflect on my net worth. Because basically every week when I allocate money to my debt, I put the money into a savings account so I don't touch it. And so I need that money to come out by the end of the month to make sure that my net worth is accurate. So a couple of other things that I need to add in are, let's see, I'm going to add it in somewhere around, it's probably up here really. I'm not really sure when these will be due yet, so I'll just go ahead and put, actually I've already paid for January, so I'm not gonna put those in. Sorry, I'm just now realizing that. I paid for the policies to start in January, so I don't think it's gonna be there. I shouldn't have a payment, so I'm not gonna write them in. I can always write them in later if I do. The only other thing, so I did write in here a couple of months ago for me to start paying $52 a month or $51.75 towards my parents' family cell phone plan. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and write that in, in here. And I'm just going to choose, let's say the 18th. So I'll put Sprint. And that's going to be 51 75 and so these are literally all of my bills you guys that's all I have I have my rent my two utilities then I have internet cell phone and then everything else is just kind of random stuff most of this stuff is business stuff and then of course my car loan and that's it so now I'm going to go ahead and flip to this notes page so that I can go ahead and plan out my paycheck. So you guys know that I do paycheck planning. I am self-employed. I get paid every Friday from various sources. Sometimes I do get paid during the week. And um, usually in my planner, I have a page where I write this stuff down, but of course I'm not in that planner, so I went ahead and wrote it out. I'm budgeting $300 for groceries, $100 for the month for personal and household. This includes household things like plastic cups, paper plates. It also includes like hair products, stuff like that. Restaurants will be 100, gasoline will be 100, shopping will be 100, and then my supplements will be 60. So without the supplements, because this is not something where I'm paying a weekly basis, this is just like usually how much I pay total for the month for my supplements. Without that, it's $700 a month, which will be $175 a week, and I put that into my budget. So the way that I do everything, I total up my income for the entire week all the way up until Friday, and then that Friday's income, well, it actually starts on Saturday, pays until the next Friday. The reason why I start the payments for these particular paychecks the following day is because even though I get paid on Friday, I don't receive the money direct deposit into my account until Saturday morning. So if a bill is due on Friday, it's not going to be paid with Friday's income, if that makes sense. So I'm going to head, going to go ahead and get started. So um, I'm going to base everything off four thousand dollars in income this month last month i did it based on 4400 and i didn't really like that i just want to do everything based off four thousand from here on out and i like all the way exceeded that goal um but let's just do four thousand a tip and i put this in every one of my videos if you are self-employed or you have irregular income is very important that you overestimate on your bills and underestimate in your income that when you go that way when you go way overboard on your income like I do it's fine because you don't have to worry about trying to scrape up to figure out where to get the money to pay for your bills so this paycheck from the 6th to the 12th I do not have any bills so the only thing I'm going to go ahead and write in is the budget 
of 175 and I forgot to write my income for each week so I'm gonna do 825 for week one then I'll do 1675 for week two uh, 1175 for week three and then I'll just do 325 for the last week yeah let's do it that way all right so I'm gonna go ahead and draw the vertical line and I really didn't even need to draw it that long but let's start calculating so 825 minus 175 leaves us with 650 there and so with this week, let's see, we have MailChimp at $10. Then we have Charter at $44.99. Progressive. And I really wish I could remember the exact amount, but I'm just going to go ahead and put 108.17 because I know it's lower than what my current payments are. And I don't know why I can't find it in my email. So the chiropractor is going to be 70. Then I think this is what I wrote down on the other page. Uh, for Sprint, I'm going to do 51. 75 and I believe I wrote it in the calendar on this week if I didn't it's fine and then always in the second week of the month because this is usually my biggest pay week I go ahead and I set aside the money for my rent for the following month so I'm going to go ahead and write that in there so on my calendar I write in the current month even though I really use the money from the previous month so what I always do I take this amount the 1870 and I transfer it to my ally savings account that way I don't think I have more money than I have in my checking account for spending and then I'm also going to go ahead and write my supplements in on this week as well. And that'll be 60 bucks. So. Put my line there and let's start calculating. So we have 1665. 162001 15111884 14411884 13984 579.39 and the last thing is the supplements, and that leaves us with five nineteen thirty nine. And I believe this should be correct. Oh, nope, it's not correct. Have to write in the budget. So that leaves us with three forty four thirty nine. All right, so this week's bills, and I'm just gonna start writing the budget first because I always forget it if I don't. 175, then host gator is 11.95. Spire, although I didn't write an amount in on my monthly calendar I'm gonna estimate a hundred dollars it's been extremely cold here in St. Louis like I've been having to run my heat um, even during the day and even sometimes at nighttime so I'm just gonna go ahead and estimate a hundred dollars because it was like about sixty dollars when I only ran the heat a couple of days so this is my affiliate program that's fifty dollars the FSM Financial success membership is $34.95. And that should be it here. Yes. All right, so let's start calculating here. 
thousand And then the last week, budget of 175. Have the roadside assistance for 7.99. Amarin, which is my electricity. I'm gonna budget $60 again. I've been staying pretty much around like $45, but I'm gonna overestimate again. Cause I have been um, running the heat and heaters and all of that. And then my car note is last at $262.53. And this is going to be a negative week for me. This is one of the biggest reasons why I'm trying to go ahead and pay off the rest of my car loan. 8201. And now when we subtract the 262.53, we are at negative 180.52. So Here's the thing, again, I usually do not pay my car loan the very last week anymore anyway. So to reconcile this, I was gonna say consolidate. To reconcile this, I'm gonna go ahead and move my car note to the previous week because as you can see, I have enough of a surplus to cover this. So in doing so, I'll go ahead and write my car loan here. And then what I always do is I end up going into my bill pay and just change the date to whichever week I want to actually pay the bill in or the car note. So this is going to leave me at 540.57. And then now we have to add the money back in for this week. that'll get us back to 8201 and so these are all of my bills and so I've reconciled everything so that I don't have a negative week so the only other thing that I do after this I go ahead and circle how much surplus I should have every week of course some weeks I might overspend on my budget and others I underspend and so then all I'm gonna do now is go ahead and write 650 from week one 344.39 for week two, 540.57 for week three, and then 82.01 for week four. And I'm going to go ahead and calculate what that comes out to. So we have a surplus of 16.16.97. And so I'm going to go ahead and this is something I usually don't do, but I'm going to go ahead and kind of plan out how I'm planning to use this 1616, like how much I want to put towards debt and all of that good stuff. So what I plan to do with this money, and I'm not on the Dave Ramsey's every dollar budget, so I'm not gonna give every single dollar a name, but I do wanna kind of estimate about how much I plan to save and how much I plan to put towards debt. So as far as savings go, I do know that I want to put about $200 in my income tax sinking fund then let's see 
I want to do $260 in my mini emergency fund. As some of you guys know, I did use part of my mini emergency fund to pay for my income taxes for 2016. So I am slowly uh, putting money back into that. And I could do it a lot faster, but it's fine. I have my mini and my true emergency fund funded, so it's okay. Then I want to put $260 into my investment fund. And more than likely what I'll end up doing is just putting the whole 520 in my mini emergency fund and just leaving it at that. And then as far as debt goes, I want to be able to put about $720 towards my car loan. That's the plan. So that should leave me with... Yeah, that should leave me with about $176.97 surplus. And then, of course, I should earn more than $4,000 for the month. I don't project that I will earn less than that. If I do, it's fine. But I do project to make more than $4,000. So that'll leave me, of course, with an even bigger surplus. So that is pretty much my January budget with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. But other than that, I will see you guys next week for my December budget report card.